Hello everybody and welcome back for episode 5, I think, of our 3rd Age Total War Divide and Conqueror Dwarves of Khazad Doom campaign. So last episode we had the con con <laughs> coronation, Jesus that's a tough word, of Balin. So now he's High Lord Balin, does he get some extra perks? Probably does. Well, he became a, a farmer apparently. And we had some party crashers, some archers that we took care of, which was apparently just a scouting squad. So now we're dealing with the actual main host of the enemy army, which is this friendly chap, Solgrul. Now, this is supposedly the fight with the Balrog, but I don't think he'll actually show up. But we'll see what happens. Make sure this guy does not actually use... Uh... Oh, I thought he had the ring for a second. <laughs> like, THE ring. Um, so yeah, we don't want the AI to enforce, and we'll see what happens. We're gonna save. Because right now I'm playing it offensive, maybe I'll want to wait them out and do a defensive battle, I'm not sure. Night attack actually gives them a boost, so we're not going to do that. Balance of power is slightly against us, but it's it's not hopeless. So the enemy does have a lot more troops, and they have some pretty strong units. With uh, black orcs and some tough orc dudes, well, goblin dudes. So we'll try to take out their general as usual, and then hopefully their army falls apart. That is the strategy. Oh god, let's wait. I don't want it to be foggy. No fog. Please, no fog. I don't like fog. Alright, I guess we're fighting in the fog. Well, it's not that bad. I thought it was worse. Alright. Let's see what we'll... We got a unit of archers. I think we just need to kind of disregard strategy and just grind them down. We got the cavalry. That is a huge bonus because I don't think they have wargs. Now we use the laborers and the Kazadum reclaimers as a flank unit, as well as Balim himself. Alright, reinforcements are coming in from that side, which is fucking horrible. So we need to... we don't have time. We need to move! Doesn't seem like he's just rushing my reinforcement. Obviously I might rush the reinforcement. What is he doing? He's moving in a very weird way. Right, my guys are basically just running straight into their army, which is fucking shy. What are they doing? What are they doing? No, 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 come on. Is that seriously where they... Because they're still not on my screen. Something's up. Something is definitely up. Something is up, and I don't like it. Calm down. Alright, so we might already have to redo this battle because for some reason reinforcements don't show up. Even though they are fighting and I can't look at them. Like, what's going on? They're not controlled by the AI because I don't have a little screen here. So I have no idea what's going on. Maybe send in the cavalry? But this is proper poop. We already lost 15% of our units. That is bullshit. That's absolute bullshit. Like, that army got decimated, and I have no idea what's going on. How is that fair? Alright, so it seems we'll have to do it a defensive battle anyway, because this is broken. My horses are still broken, they still refuse my orders. It's always great. Yeah, there's fighting here. Oh, come on. Who is that? Dwarven laborers? Oh, and they're sending the trolls? Oh, this is... Well, that army is lost. I, I have no idea what's going on. I'm not controlling them. For some reason, I'm not controlling them. That is proper bullshit. Why am I not controlling them? Alright. 
Ooh, this is this sucks. These are just my labors. Oh god. If I win this I won't even care to redo it, but this is like come on. Why you gotta why you gotta do me dirty? Yeah, they're controlled by AI, the AI reinforcements, but that's bullshit, because I crossed off the check mark and I don't get the little icon here, so it's not even I can't even give him orders, like Moving labors. Mountain Uruks are a little too tough for me. Oh, there's the bodyguard. If we can kill the general, I'd be a happy camper. That charge didn't do a whole lot. Well, it's not going horrible. Seeing as we started out losing 15% of our units straight away without any repercussions. Mostly worried about the Black Uruks. Alright, good. Pull out, pull out, pull out, pull out, pull out. Don't get the bitch pregnant to pull out. Come on. Where is my general? I don't think he's dead because I should get a message, but then again, I'm not getting any messages. Oh, I got the reinforcement message, so I sh yeah, that shouldn't be broken. Despite other things being broken. Alright, so the cavalry is everything we're relying on right now. Trolls barely took any damage. Shit. That's worrisome. Alright. It's not looking amazing. Let's charge these guys in the back. Not great, not terrible. Beautiful. That's beautiful. That's the shit we want to see. Well, there goes that general. Uh, seems like we'll have to do redo it as battle and make sure the game doesn't fuck me over because that's bullshit. That was complete and other bullshit. Uh, these guys are routing. Good. Now I can envelop the other guys. Now if we kill their general, we should be good sheep. Something changes in the course of battle. Chill, chill, chill. It seems almost certain. Let me sure they don't come back. Only half the enemy force remains. These mountain orcs are a real issue. They're probably stronger than the orc bodyguard. Charge the skirmishers, they'll break. I know they will. Oh god, the trolls are coming. Maybe they'll do some friendly fire. No, oh, we lost a unit. Ah, oh, it's one of the allies. Which I have no idea what they're doing, because they're out of my control. Alright, 
pull out, pull out, pull out, pull out. Yeah, we're gonna have to redo this battle, that's for sure. That's for damn sure. Bullshit, man. That was a good charge. Now they get the cab out of there because they're gonna get stuck. Alright, so I'm using Balin to take down the trolls. I hope that works. As well as the reclaimers. Not the proclaimers. They won't walk how many ever miles they'll walk, but. Man, if I had some horse archers, whew! I got the mountain orcs are coming for my archers. Come on, Balin. Take down the trolls. Our bodyguard is dropping pretty rapidly. My cavalry is getting too spread out. That's something I've noticed in this mod as of late. Like, the units aren't as compact as they used to be. They don't move as a, a whole sometimes. Some, like, these archers are really... Horde mode. It's not a real unit. I guess it kind of matches with the... Playstyle. But not so much for the dwarves, you know. I see them as more of a compact unit. Oh god, 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 god. This guy's come back, really? My horses are so tired. So am I. Fuck this battle, man. Hmm. Ah, it's still looking fairly balanced, you know? Trolls are an issue. But if they die, which they should start dropping soon. I can see some possibilities opening up. If we kill their bloody general. Those trolls just refuse to die. I respect that, but it is quite annoying. And these mountain rixers. Hella strong. Okay, they're dropping. They're finally dropping. That's like a thing with the way they're programmed. Once they start dropping, they all drop pretty fast. So that's good. Nice, we got the general. Ooh. Man, what a slog fest. What an absolute slog fest of a battle. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. That was a good charge. That was a very good charge. Nice. Nice, lads. Nice, nice, nice. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, the victory will be ours. Now to deal with all the archers, this is going to be annoying. Okay, they're routing. I guess this is kind of an event army, so they should disband no matter what. I don't think they'll stay in combat. God, these archers are annoying. How many more arrows do they have? The enemy army flees the field. Let's continue After just for the experience. The yeah, we already got two gold chevrons.
That number needs to go up. The horses don't really seem to be doing anything. Just kind of running next to the enemy. Ah, oh, they're doing it. Good. Look at them drop. Be satisfying. Alright, that's that. Whew. Fuck that battle, man. Holy cow. Fuck that battle. So we lost the general because bullshit. <sighs> that was... I don't know what happened there. That was a some sort of bug, I think. But still, we won. They tried to poop on our coronation and we beat them. Alright! That's what you get for pooping on my coronation. Well, we got some units back, so... Alright. Rip Narvi, though. That's okay. We kinda had him spare, so it's fine. Are we at war with the... Yeah, we're at war with the goblins now again. God damn it. That's annoying. Let's see. Oh yeah, definitely retrain some of these units. And then I just kinda wanna take Zakala, you know? Yes, my king. I know I'm a spy on the other side of the mountains. Then let's start pumping out some Mithril. So I have reached the magical turn 60. Which I think gives me the the event where I get my elite units. I think. So let's see. I'm very much looking forward to that because the Casa Doom volunteers are not always cutting it, you know. I need something tougher because that's what the doors are known for. Just incredibly strong infantry. And right now my infantry is it's all right. It's not bad. Khan of Khans is dead. Rip. Military report. Yes, there we go. Great tidings, my lord. Our armories and supply lines are now operating at full capacity. Our war effort has achieved maximum potency. Once the necessary supporting facilities are provided, our finest warriors and tools of war shall be yours to command. You need only march them to victory. Oh, I shall. Durin's being destroyed. Okay, so <laughs> we killed them. It is done. Durin's Bane has gone and reinforcements are defeated. Our king and warriors fought valiantly against the overwhelming force, but it was the wizard that delivered the final blow to the Balrog. None of that happened, but okay, let's just roll with it. Terrible news, however, my lord. Tarkin has fallen with the beast. Oh no, also oh, Tarkin is... Okay, I fucked that up last episode. Both now lie slain upon the mountainside. We shall never forget the sacrifice of the wizard. Rip. The more settlements we conquer, the higher the chance that we receive help from other dwarven lands. Oh, okay. So we're gonna get... Help from Erebor, Iron Hills, and Thorin. Not that we need it at this point, because we're hella strong now, I think. Because I can build barracks, yes. Oh, look at that, look at these. Th that's the shit I want to see. Ha ha ha, okay. What do I want to get here? Yeah, maybe I'll, I'll give the garrison a second chance. Where's my spy? Oh, here he is. Something to investigate. I want to go for Zakala, but I need to make sure because oh, he's already sending it troops. Okay, so Casa Doom. I can get the Mithril mines. Let's fucking let's fucking get the Mithril mines. How many turns? 15 turns! Oh, God damn, that's that's a long time. But hey, we'll do it. Alright. Time to raise an army to take Sakala. Oh, we got a new general! Oh yeah, because we trained the Senate card. Perfect. Okay, it's not a watchtower on this part of my territory. If they take Anan and Rod, I'll still have this watchtower. Because right now I rely on this watchtower, but you never know to take Anan and Rod. 
Oh, we got some good armor here. Nice. This is a sizable force. We could take Sakala and then oh, fucking rich me. Anything else I need to build somewhere? Retrain or not that I have a lot of money, but I did just do a big investment. Okay, so I need to build something here. In Anon on a rod, I can also get barracks. Sure. Sure, let's do it. And then by turn 70, I can pump out some strong ass units. I'm looking forward to that. That's gonna. Whew. And then our first goal is to just kick out the Goblins of Moria. And then we'll see where we uh, march. Oh, yeah, I was gonna send diplomats to. Do I need to do that? Was it just a piece of text, or do I actually need to do that? I guess I'll do it, because I have one diplomat near Gundabad, so I can send him to the dwarves of um, the Iron Hills. Right? There's the Iron Hills right there, right? And there's some diplomacy over there. <clears throat> Hello. I'm going to kill you in just a second. Hey. Like we're pumping out family members like crazy. My dudes, the orcs of Gundabad, oh, look at these pretty ladies. The orcs of Gundabad didn't do any of that shit, man. Can I have a dwarven princess running around? That's what I want to know. So we have this. What's it called? Burzakur. Don't know that guy. Alright, let's go to Dean's Hall. Okay. <laughs> Can send the cavalry. Good, good, good. Right, so it's just retraining, okay. I can live with that. Low tax rate. Come on, chaps. My king. Aye. Send these guys to Anon on a rod, just in case. Alright. Just need to make sure that the orcs don't send any units in my back. Now that I've watched towers, I can see them coming from a mile away. If they decide to come from Goblin Town. So, yeah. I think we were uh, starting to reach critical mass. Starting to become unstoppable. Maybe a bit early for that, but I've got a feeling, you know. Once we get the elite units, I really don't see anything stopping us. Unless if we go all the way south and we're facing the the horse tribes, you know, the hard dream and shit. Might be a different story. <laughs> maybe, maybe I can get crossbows. I'm not sure actually. Is there like archery range? Hithai clear beast hunters. Sounds impressive. Alright, Kazdumas is an armorer. Nice. Now I can get some barracks. Start pumping out units. Alright, you go to Anon and Rod. No. Anon and Rod, yes. Right, so they are sending in an army, but. <laughs> Wouldn't say I'm too worried about that. I also don't know where. <laughs> Looks like they're leaving Zakala wide open. Okay, I'm not sure why it says that. Brunost. Let's see. Uh, I don't want Libras right now. Get the travelers, normal tax rate, low, 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 okay, good. Low is the way to go. I want to expand the cities, and then later on you can put them higher if necessary. Got to move my diplomat, goddammit. So stupid sometimes. Where are the dwarves of Erebor? No, wait, the dwarves of Erebor are the ones I'm, I fought in Gundabad. That's Erebor, right? Yeah. So I'm looking for the dwarves of the Iron Hills. And there was another faction, right? I mentioned another faction. But I can't. Oh, yeah. No, I forgot. It was a name. 
Was it Thorin? But Thorin is Erebor. God, I... You guys probably hate me. Because I don't know that much of the lore. Ah, uh, we'll see what happens. Let's just meet these dwarves. They're probably already in Dane's halls. Yep. Minus Morgus besieged. Okay, no, Thin is attacked. Okay. Hello. It seems like they're being besieged. Oh, goddammit, no. Ugh, stupid looks good to bad. Isengard and Andedwaith, okay. Alright, so Gundabad does not like me anymore. How rich is Gondor, man? How rich is Gundabad? Jesus. They're hella rich. Okay, you wanna fight? No, you don't. I kinda wanna fight this army. Just do a quick little save. If I fight them, then Zakala is just right for the taking. To battle. Okay. Look at this friendly chap. He looks so cool. He looks so nice. Friendly man right there. Alright. We got a decent force. A little low on archers, maybe, but that's fine. I didn't check what units they had, and also didn't check their general, so. Guess we'll just have to slaughter all of them. Be strong, my bearded friends. How cute is that? Take our time with this. Fuzzy is doing some maneuvering. Mm hmm, mm hmm, hmm. Okay. Doesn't seem like he loves. He has anything unusual. Oh, he has wargs. Oh, poop. Something I need to take into account. I like how in the newer Total Wars you can see the range of your arrows when you press space. Like, I can see where they're moving, but I can't see the range of my archers. Did I say arrows? I meant archers. Uh, that's still too far, right? Yeah, it's Goblin Band. Alright, let's take a look. On infantry. Or counters. This is easy. The only thing I'm worried about is the works. They're the ones who can do damage. But besides that, it is nothing to worry about. I always need to have the general first. He's maneuvering. I didn't know the range. I feel like it's really close. <sighs> Come on. It's it's gotta be so close. There we go. No no no. Don't go too fast. We need to have time. Nice. Look at them <laughs> scurrying like crazy, like rats.
sending in jabbies. Let's not give him free shots. Oh. Seems like you do have archers. Snog uh, archers probably. Yep. Come on, lads. Well, the dwarves aren't exactly known for their archers, so I don't blame them for not having great range. Crossbows, though, that is something. Feels like it's very dwarven. Not sure how they can hit them when it says no. Oh. Strange. The general might be on one of the war. No, it's not one of the war graders. Because they have uh, the same unit size. These gold men are tanky. And my archers don't do much damage, though. Beautiful. If you play with like Elven Archers, every hit is like a kill because it does so much damage. I know this is not the most exciting, but look, we already killed three percent without costing us anything. So, alrighty. Seems like he's moving forward, so we're gonna move back our archers, and we're gonna send in the front line. Just gonna rush him in. Over here. Good shit. Look at that. S such a beautiful game. Engaged in combat. And we have enveloped them nicely. Their wargs are just useless like that. Just using them as infantry. <laughs> Don't mind me. The enemy oh, look at that. He died so fast. And let our swords have his name. <laughs> They're just walking past each other. Don't mind me. Yeah, they're already starting to route like that. It's all you need. These war riders look pretty cool. They look different than the ones I used in Gundabad. They're hella annoying though, because they're kind of engaged in combat, but then they're not, so they keep going after my cavalry. I 
we get them on this flank and do a charge here, that would be beautiful. The wars just keep kind of cutting me off. Come on, do a charge. Nah, it's not exactly a charge, but hey. Oh, uh, they're starting to break. Starting to fall apart. Good shit. Very good. Sarkala is mine. Make no mistakes about that. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Push through. <laughs> they just join and they're already running. Look at that. Right, this is where I want to use my cavalry, but this fucking war isn't being a pain in my ass. So the cavalry I want to run down infantry because I don't want them to go reinforce Zakala. I want to kill them all. Take a prisoner. Him drop 68. It's not enough. It's definitely not enough. That's better. Still not there all the way. Now those guys. That will make a difference. 146. No, 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 no. We're not done. After them. Cut the down. Run, come on. Eighty-three. Eighty-six. Ah. Seven, eighty-eight. I think. It's done. God damn it! 88. Oh well. That is that, right? Oh wait! Soul survivor of the Orc Hunters. Lost of his kind. Hunt him down. Oh, we got over 90! Look at that! Nice! Nine to respect it. Oh, Zarkala is ours! It is ours! Oh, this was good. Good, 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 excellent. I'm hyped, man, I'm hyped. Fucking assholes, what do you think they are? Trying to ruin my coronation, that was my moment. They fucking shredded it. How'd you like that? Okay. I, my liege. Nine the respected. I've got so many traits already. Alright, so next turn, proceed to Sakala. Kicking out the goblins for good. Fuck em. Assholes. Yeah, I got Dwarves of Erebor. Dwarves of Ered Luin. Oh, okay. And then Dwarves of the Iron Hills, right? Where are George the Iron Hills? Are they already dead? That doesn't make sense. Where are they? Maybe the Iron Hills are a red loon and I'm just an idiot. It's possible. I'm not ruling that out. We'll see. We will see. Wouldn't say I'm very worried about that. Don't really need the Dwarven reinforcements because look, Casa Doom is gaining us 8,000 shiny coins every turn. So this is peanuts. Hello. We 
shall hold them to siege, sire. Oh, look at that. so sad. Alright, good. Lithromine's already at 6 turns. Oh, I, I think it calculated wrong because it wasn't 15 turns because it didn't calculate the upgrade from the... Where is it? The Stoneworker's Guildhouse. I don't think it took that into account. Okay. Alright. Bridge of Casa Doom. Hm. Um seems like other Yes, diplomat, diplomat, what are you? What are you? I'm a lord. You still fighting yes, here? Can I actually talk? I sign. Uh there's still fighting. Okay, we'll just I go to the next settlement over here. Um I wonder what other settlements the orcs still have. I can check that, sorta. Four. So we know one, two, three, four. That's it. I don't think they still have that. This looks like it's gonna be Dunedain territory. Alright. Next turn, we'll take Zakala. <laughs> that defending. Well, they'll probably get a garrison. Should bear that in mind. But that defending army is. nothing. It's peanuts. It's not even worth my time. Okay, well, maybe not that bad. But. And at one point, we'll take Goblin Town. That's gonna be glorious. Whew. Kick those stupid goblins in their stupid faces. <laughs> you can tell I don't really like the goblins. I respect their armor because it looks awesome, but. Goblins themselves? Nah. They're little bitches. Okay. He's sending in an army behind me. Which actually might work in my favor if he has a garrison. Because then I can lure him out without the garrison. Hey, I really don't need that, but thanks. Okay. Okay. Nice. What else do I want to build here? Hmm. Oh, this is a town, so we'll try to focus on like trade and food. So we'll get a pig farm. I know it's a lemme some bacon. Yeah, they got good armor now. And soon they'll have mithril. Alright, um, hello. Hi, my friend. What can we do for you? Right? This seems quite a Yay! Farewell. Oh, look at them. Look at all this. So I don't need to read. Oh, wait. Ah, oh, there's a, a little... Possible, Where are the yes, other dwarves? Sir. Aren't they, like, over here? Isn't there, like, a mount? I think they're over here. Arid Luna. I'll have to look that up. What's this? Oh, that's Edoras? Why does it look like that? It looks like a moat. Oh, that's probably uh, Helm's Deep. I would imagine. Weird. Um, ooh, game of laggy. Don't crash on me, baby. Don't crash on me. Alright, so. If I attack Sakala. Is this name Captain Balrog? Seriously? <laughs> then he gets more defenders. Which are tough cookies. So let's not do that. If I attack this guy, By your will, sire, we shall sure. engage. he runs because he's an asshole. Alright, let's just starve him out. We, we have time. Kind of worried he's making a bigger sire. army, but... Ugh, so tired of fighting these goblins, man. They're so annoying. Maybe I could already send the second force to take this village. Something to investigate. On my way. Lagbug. It's <laughs> cute name. I can't march. I can't onward. Abiding the armies, sire. I, sire. I, joining our forces. 
Okay. Okay, things are looking good. I'm feeling... I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling good, okay? So where are those fucking other dwarves? <laughs> Let's see. We'll see what happens. We'll see what the dwarves do. If they send us some good units or something. I don't think I'll need them anymore at this point, but we'll see. So Imladris is finally getting its head out of its ass, which is good, seeing as we're allies. Alright, I'm just gonna attack Sipasakala, because he's gonna send in other armies constantly, which is annoying the fuck out of me. Okay. So Anun and Arad is actually a pretty decent settlement for how small it is. Okay. Barracks! Oh! Ho, 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 ho. Legion Hammer Guard. Look, look at the difference. 922. Well, it's not that huge, but it is, you know. Not a ball and it's a question of claim to three peaks. Swords now focus more heavily on the ways of war. The Legion is bored. Look at that. Legion Shield Guard. Oh. Legion Deeping Guard. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Right, let's get an archer range. Let's make this, uh. Let's make this more of an offensive little town. So, part of me wants to wait so that Imladris can clean this. I'll just take Sakala and then Imladris can take care of whatever the fuck they want to do. Let's save the game. Do we have archers? We have two units of archers. Do they have archers? They do not. I want to focus on the stalkers. Fuck the orc defenders. Alright, let's just try this. Kill the stalkers, ignore the defenders. That's the, the game plan. And by ignore, I don't mean ignore, but they're not the focus. If we could take the, the town square, that would also be very useful. But yeah, this is the little map that's quite broken for the AI, so we'll see what happens. I don't think I need any any uh, battering rams. I don't think we'll bring the dwarves. Well, actually, we'll take the horses. You never know. Like, there is pretty big here. Send in the archers first. <laughs> Look at that. Imagine being those goblins just minding your own business and this horde of dwarves just runs into your, your town. Your capital. This is the goblin capital, if I'm not mistaken. That would not be a, a good day. Does that count as taking the walls? Can I move my camera inside now? I can. Alright, so this is basically just... Okay. It's actually not bad. I'll take this side because it's more open. It's actually not bad because I can send my cavalry... Oh my god, the camera though. I can use my cavalry in this cave. Let's think for a second. Let's put our archers here. Sorry if you hear noise in the background. It's my mom who's vacuum cleaning. <laughs> and then let's get a defensive line behind the archers. Like that. And let's get another line here. Okay. Now we'll put the cavalry on a mission around. So I make kind of a kill zone. That's my specialty. Shoot the Ordi Defenders. I know I said ignore the Ordi Defenders, but this is pointless to shoot on those guys. That's the General. 
Right there. Okay. They're spreading out. It's completely fine. I'll just shoot on these guys instead. Let's hunt down the general. This cave network is. I don't want to live here. I get lost. They're just stalkers. Like, we can hunt them down. Oh, crap. They are running towards me in a very aggressive manner. Let's actually move the archers here. Seems like he's falling from my trap. Pretty convincingly. That. And you charge the stalkers. Try to kill the captain. Battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Beautiful. Yeah, I doesn't know what to do in this map. They're really close. Man, come around. Beautiful. These horses were stuck, they'll die. Because they're idiots. I don't get how they're stuck, but okay. Alright, finish those guys off. Free kills over there. Oh, these guys managed to escape, good. These early defenders are tough. Let's move in the infantry like that. Well, the archer, I should say. Infantry over here. Boom. Another charge on the captain. Come on. Oh, beautiful. They actually charged. This is a big blob. Big blob of tough units. Not strong units per se, but tough units. I mean, look how long these guys are holding out against vastly superior numbers and being surrounded. They don't care. Come on, Snogger Stalkers. Please die. Where's your other captains in the front? There's no way he's gonna die from a uh, cavalry attack in the back. Just 
Turn on these guys in the back. Let's continue that trend. They don't seem to be fighting back. Don't mind me. They're really not fighting back. Alright, don't mind if I do. Let's use a ball or ammo, why don't we? Three kills. They're clutching on to that town square, so I can't really go for that. That was part of the strategy with the uh, town square, but. Orphan travelers really don't do a lot of damage. Okay. He's working out nicely. Yeah, he's completely brain dead on this map. an eye on them. Alright, it seems they're done. Let's take a look. 34%. Look at that. It's all free kills. Kills that my infantry does not have to grind for. Let's kill the captain and then we can proceed with plan B. Well, not plan B. I should say step B of my plan A. There we go. general lies dead. We have sent the cart to hell. Oh, he finally realized something's up. Alright, now this part of the strategy involves just bum rushing my units towards the enemy. It's beautiful, you'll see. This is going to be a grind. So many of them. Even the sounds like clipping out. <laughs> so much fighting. Cut them down. It's completely surrounded. They want the town square, they'll get the town square. Horses refuse to listen. Oh, 
Oh my god. Why will my horses not move away when I'm telling them to? How many times? How many times do I have to tell you? Move away. God damn. That's hella annoying when they don't listen. Look at this shit. These guys will not be feeling very hopeful. Come on. Actually engage them. Don't stand a mile away and just swing your sword. Only half the enemy force remains. And then we'll have a little angle here for calf charges. This feels like the Battle of the Bosters from Game of Thrones. Just completely surrounded. Except I'm the one with horses. Come on, lads. You want to make farting sounds? I can make farting sounds. And those rogue defenders are tough. Look at it shrink. That's mesmerizing. And that is Zakala, which is now ours. Our men are in control of the Look at that. It's just shrinking. Beautiful. Alright, boys. We just took Zakala. Nice! Oh, 257, what? That's amazing. That's barely anyone. That deserves a sip of water. Mmm. I love me some water. Cool. So we just took Sakala. Which is something I meant to do last episode, but hey. It's all good. Doesn't really matter. We have it now. Ooh, yes, it's already a good settlement. 2k income. So you got a lot of building slots? That's this. Okay. Um, Alright, we need the... The, 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 the influence. Alright, so hopefully the Elves of Imlodgers kind of help me clear all that shit out. Nice. The Nezak all is ours. Now this is our little part of the map. The black's part of the map. That's ours. Neat. Do they already have mines in Zakala? They do. Okay. Mining network. Alright. Get the mining complex. Good. Cool. Music is getting very threatening. I'm almost scared. My king. March. I sire. I forward. Merging army mm, Do I send Fula in, or do I keep him in on a rod? I think I'll send him in. Honor, my lord. Bringing the men together, sire. Put that shit on growth. And the turn. Right, so we'll get to Erebor, and that will be the end of this episode. But that's something nice to work towards. Let's see what happens in, in Erebor once we get a diplomat there. Alrighty. Things are looking good. 
actually. <laughs> Compared to the Orcs Gundabad campaign, this is smooth sailing. Alright. So, I do expect to have some elite units on the field by next episode. So, be on the lookout for that. That's gonna be cool. Find Regent of Torvinian is fucking dead. We reached the Lonely Mountain. King was so delighted by the victory, he immediately sent for a company of dwarven men to march to Casa Doom. Cool. King was worried by Durin's bane, but was overall happy that the halls are ours once more. We must wait for these dwarves to eventually arrive at Casa Doom and hope more come in the future. Okay. Awaiting your That's always good to see you. I already have my permission. Never mind. Um well, that was uneventful. Where are the dwarves of Earth Lowen? I wish I knew. I wish I knew. I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna look it up right now. Okay. Grab my phone. That's all the wisdom. Dwarves of Ered Luin. Okay. Dwarves of the Blue Mountains. Where the hell is that? Far west of Eriador. So it is over here. Yeah, it's probably here. Um, I have a diplomat here, right? Spy. I thought I had a diplomat. Spy. Where's my... I know I have another diplomat. Awaiting your command. There we are. Alright, you go here. Of course, sir. I don't see a little arrow pointing me in the right direction, though. But... Right, it's the barracks in Casa Doom. Ooh, we can already start recruiting, mate. I'll have one of each, please. Get some roads going. Let's go straight for Austin Edel. They won't stand a chance. Oh, no, they won't. Man, we're already so big, so strong. Oh, we got golden armor on these guys, the Dwarven laborers. Let's see. Brunost. Nothing. How's it doing west? Well, I'm already doing shit. There. Oh, wait, I can more units here. Yeah, the barracks I can recruit five units at a time. Sons of the Fallen. <laughs> nice. I guess I'll disband this merchant cavalry. I'll, I'll keep them. They're 30 upkeep. It's not going to make a difference. And then you... Uh, let's talk to Deal. Not already allies. What am I allied with actually? I have no idea. Alright, some enemies with Dol Guldur, apparently. I didn't know that. Comes to Moria. Oh, okay. I'm friends with a lot of people. Alright. Cool. That's nice. I like having friends. <laughs> okay. Now, if we could take a port at one point, we'll be rich beyond, beyond belief. But that's not happening anytime soon. That's very far away from where we're at. But we'll see, we'll see. I should check what I need to capture for my campaign. I know I need to go all the way to Gundabad at one point. So I'll probably just stick the mountain range for now. Maybe Isengard at one point? Actually, let's see. Casa Doom, Casa Doom West. Casa Doom West, I need to have it twice. Dun Larak, no idea what that is. Mount Gundabad. Oh, okay. And it's the main Dunlandings, comes Moria, which is almost there, and Orcs of Gundabad. Still have 332 turns remaining to do all that. And get a brewery. Okay. Okay. They are bolstering their ranks in Austin at all, but. It won't be enough. No, let's maintain the siege. Starve him out. Alright, two more turns for the Mithril Mines. I'll wait for that. Shit. Fallen's already 70. Oh, I can get great roads. Jeez. So here it says 12 turns, here it says 8 turns. Did the roads get built in the same 
No, it's... So, oh, it's Sarkala. Okay, okay, okay. Um... What do I want to build in Sarkala? I think I want more culture. Man, things are going great. I love this. Got money, I've got troops, I've got territory. I've got hopes and aspirations. I've got faith. <laughs> All things I didn't have with the previous campaign as the works of Gundabad. That was something else. We've already made so much more progress. But yeah, it's 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 just a different beast entirely, you know. Not much to do about it. The evil campaigns are pretty much always more difficult. Except Rune, that was kind of an exception. 750 new citizens arrive in Kazadu. So they're not warriors, they're just new citizens. Right? Nope, they're warriors. Well, some of them are warriors. Axe Guard of Erebor. <laughs> okay. Don't mind if I do. Look at that, we got some elite units here. Free upkeep for these guys. Don't mind me. So we're starving them out. Beautiful. Um, one more turn until Mithril Mines. Good. Then I'll get barracks here as well. Army barracks. Oh, I can get even more units? Because I do Guardians, because I do Reclaimers. I like those. First Legion, Sons of the Fallen. Cool. Alright, so what I have right now is Hammer Guard. 921. 626. These are defensive units. These are 923. So it seems like the Deepening Guard is just all around. But, oh, the Hammer Guard is effective against armor. So for certain factions, that will be more useful. Let's send the spy. Where's my other spy? Where's my good spy? Your That's a diplomat. Regium. That's you. Oh, the other spies over here. Something to investigate. Let's see what, if they still have this town. Stopping here, sir. Okay. So next turn we have mithril mines. I forgot to talk to Dale. <laughs> I forget so many things. I need to make my turns more efficient, man. <laughs> Oh, uh, let's see what... I think my, my income in, in Kazadum was around 8,000. Let's see if we can reach the, the magic number of 10,000. That would be... <laughs> that would be amazing. That would make me happy. Loads of money. Okay, looking good, looking good. Very curious. I'm very curious what that will mean for my... My troops. I don't care about the weather top. That's what I care about. Alright. Mithril has long been the key to the halls of Khazadum. This precious metal is rare and strong and is once more ours to mine, yes. With the equipment and network the with the equipment and network in operation, we can now mine the ore throughout the depths. This news will likely attract dwarven miners from the three kingdoms of the dwarves to our reclaimed halls. Eleven thousand <laughs> So I guess what I need to do now. Oh my god, every little militia, every word of things, like Blacklock Engineers. Fucking awesome. But. Don't I need some kind of smith or something? Now that I have the mithril. I guess I don't. How do I get the mithril armor then? Let's check the building browser. Smiths are only in cities. Okay, I see. Uh, upgrades armor, mithril mail. So I need a hall of Auli that I can build that because of the east. Oh wait, west. Because <laughs> that's a city. Yeah, so I can get an armor here. Okay, I see, I see, I see. 
So what did I build here? I think I built a Hall of the Seven. And Runos, we're just getting piggies. Um, let's do more of that. Make it a trading town. But I got one more turn. That's I keep playing one more turn, but you know, then I can capture this this town. There's an army here. Is there still a summon there? No, there's not. So where are the orcs besides Goblin Town? And where's my diplomat? Oh, here is Erdlun. Hello. It's good to see you. I'll actually give you money for it. No, wait, no, I'll demand. I want the map information. 2000? Just for map information? Good, no? Yep. Reach the Shire. Man, they've got all this, really? Alright. Um. See if we can retrain anywhere. Oh, I can already train these guys. Oh yeah, I can get better armor. Steel plate. Yeah, we're gonna build a massive army. Can be sure of that. Which we'll use to capture Goblin Town. If it's still in control. But I think it's not, because this red, isn't that of the veil? I added information, I need a spy to go check out Goblin Town. I don't, well, I guess the next war will be done on things, because they're the only evil faction still around my doorstep. Maybe I'll kick out the elves <laughs> on the, the eastern side. Because they're so tiny. If I kick them out, it wouldn't be nice of me. I need to expand, you know? Alright. First off, battle time. Boom. So it is in our favor. Let's quickly save the game. Alright, strategy. Kill general. Let's go to this area. Okay, kill general. That's the strategy. All the other units are pretty shite. Will we actually move out though? That's the question. This is a weird settlement. I like the custom maps, but sometimes they're very confusing. Okay, so that's the gate right there. So I guess we won't be using our archers. Just fucking rush in, mate. Okay. This is strange. I don't mind it too much. Our men are winning the battle. 
If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Okay, this battle's shifting really fast in our favor. Beautiful. This map reminds me of a map in Lord of the Rings Conquest. If you ever played that game, it was kind of like Battlefront, like Star Wars Battlefront, but for like Lord of the Rings. It was amazing, it was so much fun. You've never played that. Well, you can't really play online anymore because I'm pretty sure they took the servers down. But still, you can do the the campaign. It's pretty fun. It plays pretty much the same way as the online did. I could maybe sneak behind him and take the town square. Yeah, you wanna be a bit of a jackass? Actually, that's not. That's actually fire on these guys. Only half the enemy force remains. Let's get in a better position. They're dropping like flies. Look at the corpses all piling up, Jesus. Seems like they know. They're trying to run away. You won't let them. No, sir. Still lost a fair bit of units, actually. Well, the balance was pretty close. So. Makes sense. Moving when I try to flank him. It's like they know. Okay. Finish him off. That's a tough general. Nice. The enemy general lies dead. We have Finally. To hell. Rip. What was it? Ladybug. Lagbug. Well, he. <laughs> Ooh. 
Come on, laddies. Whatever shall we do? Our men are winning oh, the battle of the victory we have. It's our settlement now, bitch. Boom. Boom 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 boom. Ugh, I was yawning and booming at the same time. That's why it sounded weird. Alrighty, that's another settlement we can add to our uh, territory. Good shit. Now we need to get a general out and put some watchtowers all over it. <laughs> that's our mark. It's our territory because it's got watchtowers all over it. Well done, man. Austin no. Hill, that town is dirt poor. But it would serve as quite a nice base to attack Dunlandings from, so. Okay. Man or scatter since the days of the dwarves and the slaying of great Azog upon Azanulbizar, since his son Bolg was brought down by the hated Bjornings at the battle before Erebor, the fate of goblins has been upon the ebb. Their enemies are many, and the goblins were used to the balance of realms and territory. The foe has pressed battle into the very holes they crawl from, and goblins beyond count lay mouldering the deepest pits, flung there by uncaring hands as the dominion of the mountain orcs flunders, flails, and falls. Will nothing reverse this turn of events, turn the tide of failure, or is fate condemning them to the tales of children about a campfire? So, they're dead? Difficulty of Balan's mission is born from the kingdom and the peaks of Garadras Kazadum is restored to life once more. Great halls and mines of the forebears of the deeps of Moria have been taken and restored to their old names. Trade is again leaving the dwarf hole in gold, silver, and even mithril flows from rock to wonder. Arms and armor are hammered to life by great dwarven smiths, and the power of Balan's acquisition increases daily. So we're doing good. Nice. So, are the orcs done for? Is that how I need to interpret it? Okay, these guys are definitely uh, a bit better. Um, so, no, they're still alive. How do I... Where's my diplomat? Uh, my spy. We need to spy on goblins out, man. I think shit's gonna go down there. Allied settlement. There's someone to take. I wonder what happens. Another spy. What is it you wish to I would love to have map information with you. <laughs> Bilbo Baggins the noble. <laughs> it's good to see. Well, that seemed fruitful. Ah, it's Greenland's actually not that bad. I thought it would be bigger. Um. Oh wait. Okay. Get a mission from over there. Didn't realize. And it would make that a bit more clear because I didn't see that shit. Alright, let's quickly go through the settlements. I love that site, so much stuff to build. Actually, put that on low. <laughs> nah, Travelers is so not cool anymore. It's all about the Beast Hunters now. I can't stop playing. Tell me to stop. <laughs> it's gonna be an hour and a half long episode. I need to make lunch. Jesus Christ. I wanna know what's going on in Goblin Town, man. I'd love to capture Goblin Town for myself. That would make me very happy. But if the fail has it, then not good. But I feel like there's something up because the Goblins of Moria are still alive and I do believe that was their last settlement. I should have checked if it was the capital or not. I'm an idiot. Didn't check. So I'm feeling pretty confident right now. Got a lot of territory. Cameras are emptied. 
Oh, the orcs and misty mountains are dead. Wait, with less and less mountains holding to seek refuge in the orcs and mountains, call upon from all the lowliest of Snagas to the mightiest cave trolls. <sighs> These forces answer the call to arms. Oh shit, they did a call to arms. Oh god. I'm gonna stick you. Oh god. I'm gonna stick you. That's bad. That's very bad. So they just got a bunch of free armies. I love it when a game does that. <laughs> Alright. <sighs> Let's see. I think that might be an issue for next episode. Any other armies I should know about? Nope. Okay. So we got a big army here. We got a big army here. Now, one thing I can do is put an army on the bridge, forcing them into a bridge battle, which I can win easily. Or I can do the fort. I hope they attack the fort. The uh, thing is, I will put these units in Gazadum East. Alright, he can reach... No, please. So we have a turn to recruit units. Which is what we will do. Recruit as much as we can. Which ain't much. And we'll see where he moves to. We need to play the smart. Uh, as for this army, we also have time. Maybe they will move to attack the elves, because I'm pretty sure they are warped the elves. Which elves are these? Lorien. And they are the. the Urks. Where are the Urks? Oh, Zamoria. They're actually not at war with the elves. Are you kidding me? Not with these elves. They're at war with the other elves. Oh god. Um, but there's no little arrow here, so I guess I don't really need to care too much about it. Good thing I got these watchtowers. They're just pumping out units. Good. Alright, let's round it off here. Next episode we do have a... Let's actually build something in Zakala first. So next episode we do have uh, quite a big challenge ahead of us. Mm, building's cost is 10%. Sure. But I'm looking forward to it because there's going to be more battles. And then hopefully there will be the end of the stupid bloody goblins of Moria. So we can start pitching our focus elsewhere. So thank you guys for watching, hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and I will see you next time.